Carl Mannheim's sociological theory of culture, exploring the interplay of social structure and cultural dynamics. Carl Mannheim, a towering figure in the field of sociology, is renowned for his pioneering work on the sociology of knowledge and the sociology of culture. At the heart of Mannheim's intellectual legacy lies his sociological theory of culture, a multifaceted framework that illuminates the complex relationship between society and culture. In this comprehensive exploration, we delve into Mannheim's theory, dissecting its key concepts, offering insightful examples, and elucidating its implications for understanding the dynamics of contemporary society. Understanding Carl Mannheim's Sociological Theory of Culture Carl Mannheim's sociological theory of culture represents a departure from traditional approaches to culture, which often portrayed it as static or monolithic. Mannheim argues that culture is inherently dynamic, constantly evolving in response to social, political, and historical forces. At its core, Mannheim's theory emphasizes the dialectical relationship between society and culture, viewing culture as both a reflection of societal conditions and a driving force behind social change. Key Concepts of Mannheim's Theory Cultural Hegemony One of Mannheim's central concepts is that of cultural hegemony, which refers to the dominance of certain cultural beliefs, values, and norms within society. Cultural hegemony is perpetuated by powerful social groups or institutions that control the means of cultural production and dissemination. These dominant cultural narratives shape individuals' perceptions, attitudes, and behaviors reinforcing existing power structures and social inequalities. In contemporary Western societies, mass media plays a significant role in shaping cultural hegemony. Media conglomerates, controlled by a handful of powerful corporations, dictate the content and narratives that permeate mainstream media channels. Through television shows, movies, news broadcasts, and advertising, these media outlets propagate dominant cultural norms and values, influencing public opinion and shaping societal discourse. Ideology and Weltanschauung Mannheim distinguishes between ideology and Weltanschauung worldview as two distinct forms of cultural expression. Ideology refers to a set of beliefs or ideas that serve the interests of a particular social group or class, often masking underlying power relations and inequalities. In contrast, Weltanschauung encompasses a broader, more comprehensive worldview that reflects the collective experiences, values, and aspirations of a society or culture. The Cold War era provides a compelling example of ideological conflict between competing worldviews. The United States and the Soviet Union espoused contrasting ideologies capitalism and communism, respectively each promoting its own vision of society and human progress. These ideological differences shaped geopolitical alliances, military strategies, and cultural productions, illustrating the profound impact of ideology on global politics and cultural dynamics. Cultural Relativism Mannheim advocates for cultural relativism, which calls for the recognition and appreciation of cultural diversity and pluralism. Cultural relativism challenges ethnocentric viewpoints and encourages individuals to approach cultural phenomena from an open-minded and empathetic perspective. By acknowledging the validity of different cultural perspectives and practices, cultural relativism fosters mutual understanding, tolerance, and respect among diverse groups within society. Anthropological studies of indigenous cultures offer valuable insights into the principles of cultural relativism. Anthropologists immerse themselves in foreign cultures, seeking to understand the beliefs, customs, and practices of different societies on their own terms. By adopting a culturally relativistic perspective, anthropologists avoid imposing Western values or judgments onto other cultures, allowing for a more nuanced understanding of human diversity and cultural variation. Implications and Relevance of Mannheim's Theory Cultural Critique Mannheim's sociological theory of culture provides a framework for cultural critique, enabling scholars to interrogate dominant cultural narratives and ideologies. By uncovering the underlying power dynamics and interests shaping cultural production and dissemination, cultural critique exposes the mechanisms of cultural hegemony and challenges oppressive or discriminatory practices within society. 
Feminist cultural critique offers a powerful example of applying Mannheim's theory to analyze and challenge patriarchal ideologies embedded within popular culture. Feminist scholars scrutinize representations of gender in literature, film, advertising, and other cultural artifacts, revealing how patriarchal norms and stereotypes perpetuate gender inequality and violence against women. By deconstructing these narratives and advocating for alternative perspectives, feminist cultural critique contributes to the broader struggle for gender equality and social justice, social change and transformation. Mannheim's theory underscores the role of culture as a catalyst for social change and transformation. By analyzing shifts in cultural Weltanschauung and the emergence of new cultural formations, sociologists can trace the trajectories of social movements, political ideologies, and cultural revolutions. Culture serves as both a reflection of societal conditions and a site of contestation, driving processes of social innovation, resistance, and renewal. The civil rights movement in the United States provides a compelling case study of how cultural dynamics intersect with social change. The civil rights movement challenged racial segregation and discrimination, mobilizing African American communities and allies to demand equal rights and opportunities. Cultural expressions such as music, literature, and visual art played a crucial role in galvanizing support for the movement, fostering solidarity, and articulating a vision of racial justice and equality. Globalization and cultural hybridity. In an era of globalization, Mannheim's sociological theory of culture takes on added significance as societies become increasingly interconnected and interdependent. Globalization facilitates the exchange and diffusion of cultural practices, ideas, and values across national borders, leading to the emergence of hybrid cultural forms and identities. Mannheim's theory offers insights into the complexities of cultural globalization, highlighting the tensions between cultural homogenization and cultural diversity in a globalized world. The phenomenon of globalization, coined by sociologist Roland Robertson, exemplifies the interplay between global and local cultural dynamics. Globalization refers to the adaptation and hybridization of global cultural products to local contexts, resulting in unique cultural expressions that blend global and local influences. Examples include the proliferation of fast food chains serving regionally specific menu items, the localization of Hollywood films through dubbing or subtitling, and the emergence of global fashion trends influenced by local aesthetics and traditions. Conclusion Carl Mannheim's sociological theory of culture offers a nuanced and dynamic understanding of the interplay between society and culture. By emphasizing the dialectical relationship between social structure and cultural dynamics, Mannheim's theory provides valuable insights into the mechanisms of cultural hegemony, ideological critique, and social change. As we navigate the complexities of contemporary society, Mannheim's theory remains a relevant and indispensable tool for understanding the complex interconnections between culture, power, and social transformation.